Modifying your structural columns is very, very easy. Once they're placed in your Revit project, you can go and click on one, like so, and it will give you, obviously, the temporary dimensions. There's the distance between the grids. So what I might want to do there is update that dimension length. Now, in this case, I don't want to, because I've obviously placed those columns exactly on the grid intersections for a reason. That's where they need to go. But once I've selected that column, you'll notice in the Properties palette, I can change the size of the column if I want to. But more importantly, I can change the information about the column. Now, the base level of these columns is on the ground floor structural plan, which is where we actually placed them originally. So you can see there, column location is at grid D1. That's grayed out. You can't change that. But you can change here, base level is ground floor. Now I want it to start at ground floor, but the base offset is minus 2,500 millimeters. So I'm going to set that to zero. And then the top level, I'm going to click as well. Can you see, change offset value so that column height is not zero. Now what happens there is I've got to change that so that the column height isn't zero. So I'm going to change my top offset here to zero and change the top level first. I want that column to go all the way up to the fifth floor, and the base offset, I want that to be zero. So what will happen now is that will go all the way between the ground floor and the fifth floor. If I apply that now, you'll notice it looks slightly bolder. If I hit Escape, can you see, because it's going through all the floors now, puts it as a slightly bolder column. So what I might want to do there is put the same with this one here. So if I do this one as well, so let's change the top level all the way up to the fifth floor, like so. The base offset will become zero, so we'll just delete all of that and put zero in there. Top offset will also be zero because it's just going up to the floor I'm using floors as my levels. Custom location, grid line D2, can't change that, but I'll apply it, and that also goes bold as well. How do we check those settings on those columns? Well, the trick is go into your 3D model. That's the best way to check. So check your modifications in your 3D model, like so. And as you can see, there's my two columns. And if I just hit escape there to deselect everything, and I zoom in, you can see these columns are much, much higher. They go all the way up to the base of the fifth floor. These ones only go up to first floor. So you can see there how my columns are now looking very different, because those ones have a different set of properties to those columns there. So that's how you modify your properties of your vertical structural columns in your Revit project.